hello guys welcome in this video in this video i will tell you about basic introduction to android studio and somehow installation of android studio and what are the basic requirements that we need to follow before installing android studio so let's begin our today lecture without any further delay so first of all open your browser here i am using google chrome here type android studio installation requirement you can see on my screen type this on your browser and you can find it here the first requirement is microsoft windows whether it is 7 8 or 10 and it is 32 bit or 64 bit you need microsoft windows and then 3 gb minimum ram but the recommended is 8 gb ram for its smooth working rather if you go for game designing it will need more ram but for smooth working of Android application development, you have need 8GB RAM. That's okay. Uh, minimum 2GB space and uh, 4GB recommended and uh, 5MB for IDE plus 1.5GB for Android standard development kit and uh, emulator system image. And here it is the basic screen resolution, minimum screen resolution for Android Studio. So next step is the installation of android studio so here type android studio download on your chrome here you will find a link that is developer.android.com and uh, its title is download android studio and uh, standard development kit sdk tools android developers click on that link Here you can explore the website of Android Studio that is named as developers. Uh, here you will find different information about the Android Studio. If you are new to Android Studio, you will find a lot of information here. Okay. Uh, so next move to uh, download Android Studio. Its latest version is 4.1 for Windows and uh, 60 volts 4 bit. Uh, approximately size 900 MB. So let's download it. So here you have to confirm their terms and conditions. So these are all the terms and conditions. If you want to read them out, you can read it in them all. And then click on download Android Studio for Windows. After click clicking on it, you can see the downloading has been begin. It will take some time to complete. Uh, now you can see on my screen the downloading is almost completed. It, it took about 30 minutes for me to complete my downloading process. Uh, the downloading speed is depend upon your internet connection and that's all so here our setup file has, uh, is almost completed so after completed that file let's run it and uh, continue it to the further android studio installation process after the downloading file has been completed it will take so click on it double click on it you can also go in show in folder and now you can see the file here application okay as i have double click also so it will be loaded in memory and the setup will be start in short okay here you can see android studio id windows.exe yes as i have clicked two times therefore the setup has been done two times so I am going to click on no for one and yes on for the installer could not request them okay so here we have the installer of Android studio setup so click on next and Android virtual devices and next uh, path where will Android files will be stored and uh, then next okay then click on install and uh, it will take some time to process this all so let's wait for it android studio uh, is working on java and uh, language kotlin you can program on both languages whether it is java and uh, whether it is kotlin language installing of android studio is almost completed few seconds to go 
okay it is completed so then click on next and then click on finish and here start android studio finish okay okay do not import anything if you want to import any settings in your android studio <clears throat> you can go for it otherwise click on okay so this is the main interface of android studio it is loading fast because it is used by the first time okay so now it will install some of the uh, sdk standard development kit uh, data sharing uh, send user statics to google you can click on send usage okay so this is the basic android studio setup visit welcome to this visit and uh, here you can see uh, plugin kotlin uh, if you want to update this click on update and this will download plugin kotlin basically plugin kotlin is used for uh, writing or designing android studio applications in kotlin language so it will take some time so uh, click on background and uh, now we will go for next okay uh, here you can go for a standard version and you can also go for a custom if you uh, want to have something uh, like customized setting in your android studio you can go for custom uh, but here i will use standard setting so then click on next and uh, here you can see the different uh, theme versions of android studio uh, the first one is dracula and the second is light whether you want you want dracula or light you can select and uh, then click on next okay and uh, uh, these are the current settings of android studio basically these can be uh, changed as time when you want the new plugins new settings then these settings can be integrated in android studio and after that then click on finish uh, the downloading is started and it will again take some time to download and you can see that the downloading has been started and you can see here the details okay and these are the details of all the files that are being downloaded uh, basically it is a uh, uh, installing uh, SDK, SDK basically uh, standard development kit you can say that and uh, after downloading the file it is installing it in the system so let's fair, wait for it after installation of some of the plugins it will ask you to restart and uh, you can uh, select both options restart and rush to apply changes in plugins or not now basically I am going in for not now I will restart it later so not now and it will again start downloading now you can see on the screen it has almost done 50 percent of the installation uh, that is why because of uh, first of all it is downloading the file and after that it is installing that file so let's wait again for completing it now you can see uh, the installation is almost completed and uh, now it is running running intel xm installer it has taken almost one hour to complete that installation the basic the total time is almost depend upon your internet speed that how fast is your internet now you can see after uh, almost one hour the components has been downloaded and uh, it been successfully installed in my system and uh, the finish option has been displayed on my screen and now I am going to click on it finish okay uh, Android Studio version 4.1 has successfully been installed in my computer so now I will going to create a new project and so uh, create a new project click on it and uh, here you will have a different templates of a mobile application uh, the first one is basic activity, bottom navigation activity, MPT activity and uh, full screen activity, Google and mobile ads activity and uh, so on till you scroll down the options and you can also design somehow as uh, mobile applications in uh, C++ okay so uh, next one here we, here we have a menu wear OS basically it is wear operating system 
uh, VR operating system, you can assume that uh, these applications can be installed in watches like uh, like Samsung watches. Um, today, most smart watches are using operating systems like Android. Okay and now we have are having an android tv uh, basically it will work on lcds and leds that uh, are supporting android versions okay and uh, now we have autom automotive uh, media servers basically media player in uh, uh, automobiles like cars and uh, messaging services uh, this function is also used in uh, cars etc and here is uh, android things uh, you can assume android things that uh, uh, today now microwave ovens are also using android technology so to uh, program these microwave ovens this android things uh, of function is used okay so now let's come back to again phone and tablet and here now we will again use the here mpt activity okay and now then click on next okay so the most important part here comes so first of all uh, name of your application uh, here i am going to uh, write my application name is uh, my program my space prog okay so uh, name has been set it and uh, you can here you can see a package name uh, basically what is package uh, you can uh, package name is the most important part here because uh, every time this package name is been called in the start of the program uh, that we can use while doing uh, and while doing coding in uh, Android okay so we can have a different package name here uh, like uh, just for example here uh, I am going to give example that is android android dot studio dot lecture one so how you find the package name first of all in android folder you will find an android folder and then in android folder you will have studio folder and then in studio folder you will find lecture one okay and in lecture one uh, and the most important thing you have to know what is uh, the lecture one we cannot write here the lecture one because our program name is my program my space pro okay so I prefer to use it uh, without any space so I am moving in my space here so if your uh, program name is not matching here it will give you error while compiling while doing execution in your program uh, this is the save location okay and uh, this is the language you can use while writing your program so here I am doing with Java the basic one okay so minimum SDK first of all you have to know what is SDK SDK is standard development kit and uh, what is standard development kit okay uh, here you can see in drop down we are having a different version starting from Android 4.1 Jelly Bean and it's uh, ended almost android 10 uh, android 11.0 uh, that is the uh, basic version uh, the uh, advanced feature advanced currently latest latest version of android that are being used in market these days okay so if you click on android 11 you can see your app will run on less than one percent of devices uh, that mean in whole world nothing more than 1% people is having Android 11 Android 11 supported in their mobiles or Android 11 version okay if you go to uh, Android 10 you can see here your app will run on approximately 8.2% of devices that means 8.2% of people have Android 10 in their phones or Android 10 supported phones okay so you have to keep things in mind whether your app that is going to be developed is totally upgraded or somehow you want to run in old, old android phones that is you can see here android 7.1 7 android 8.0 8.1 9.0 
okay that is totally upon you what is your requirements so you have to select all things very carefully so after doing that click on finish and uh, again it will take some time depending on your laptop performance and uh, the project will be built uh, now you can see here uh, the empty project has been created here okay so it will take time to load all the libraries here so let's wait for it here you can see two processes are running and uh, you now you can see three processes are running uh, it will take time until uh, these two processes are completed you cannot code in android studio that is the main important thing so if you want to do coding you have to wait for that until these two two things that is background tasks are completed you can find them there you can see there gradle download gradle six points in. you can pick it up and uh, here you can see here okay uh, basically uh, first one is uh, updating uh, indices indexing pause due to importing my pro gradle project and uh, here is uh, a gradle project uh, it is downloading file gradle 6.0 and uh, its uh, size is approximately uh, 100 mb and uh, it's been downloading so you cannot write until these two uh, tasks had been done so let's wait for these two tasks to be completed uh, now you can see on my screen the downloading of gradle has been completed now the next step we started that is a build and uh, it will be done soon so let's wait again for the few more seconds now you can see on my screen it has started to download other files other plugins that can be used in android studio you have to do this for the first time you have to surely do this for the first time you have to wait for the first time then you have to wait uh, next time for only the libraries to be load in android studio not far to wait to download that all the libraries has been downloaded and now it start indexing updating uh, indices so let's wait for it to complete so finally all of our libraries has been loaded successfully and now we have our uh, coded code program here so as i said before that the package name we are going to set in the in the creation of application program that will be used in the start of every program okay so you can now see here package android dot studio dot my program my pro dot comma so this is the basic installation and creation of a file in android studio so this was our today lecture